Today we are looking at freedom of opinion. What does Islam say about people's freedom of opinion or freedom, freedom of expression? You know, freedom of opinion is also protected by Islam. Islam permits the individual to look into the creation of things and observe all the phenomena that it may contain. It encourages the individual to experiment, employ reason, and utilize the world around him for the benefit of humanity. The human being is capable of utilizing nature to his own benefit, transforming it and manipulating it to the maximum possible extent. This can only be achieved with a considerable amount of thought and contemplation. Advancing one's opinions can be done in many circumstances and for many reasons. It can be done to clarify the truth and counteract falsehood. Allah says, in Quran chapter 3, verse 104, it says, ummatun yadi'una ila al khair, wa ya'muruna bil ma'aruf, wa ya'awna anil munkar, wa ulaika umil muflihun. Let there arise from you a group of people who call to, the, to goodness, enjoy what is right, and forbid what is wrong. These are the ones who are successful. What is Allah telling us here? Allah is asking the believers to make the truth manifest and also to refute falsehood. You cannot be a Muslim when you allow evil to, to permeate or to proliferate in your surrounding. Anything that is untoward, you must check it, you must speak against it. You must not condone evil. You cannot be a Muslim and keep silent in the face of evil. Secondly, it can be done to prevent oppression and establish justice. This is what the prophet and the messengers did when they confronted the kings and leaders. Scholars and intellectuals do so when they confront the rulers and judges. Prophet Sallallahu said, Haq baru jihad, al qawl al haq aw al kalimat al haq in the sultan in jahir. The best jihad, the best struggle is to speak the truth in front of an unjust king. You must speak the truth. You must not be cowed. You must not be intimidated by the, 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 the status of the kings or the rulers. You must speak out the truth. Tell them the truth constructively. Constructively. Number three, a person may advance his or her opinion to clarify which affairs are more important and should be dealt with first. The members of the Conservative Council in many countries and societies often do this. Freedom of opinion can manifest itself in countless other ways, but this freedom is granted by Islam only to foster good and to allow the individual to develop himself and society. It is not there so a, so a person can injure himself and others or follow his lust and destructive desires. When we look into Islamic history, we find that freedom of opinion was put into practice since the time of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We can see in the Battle of, of Badr, when a companion by name Ababun al munzir he gave his personal opinion about where the Muslims should set up camp during the Battle of Badr. His opinion on this matter ran contrary to the opinion of the Prophet, but was accepted opinion. The Prophet accepted that opinion. You know, when Prophet's wife Aisha was accused of adultery, some of the companions advised him to divorce her. Then the Quran testified to her innocence. There are many other examples in history where the companions freely gave their opinion to the Prophet. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam accepted their opinions. 
they accepted their opinions. Like in the Battle of Handa, the Battle of the Trench, it was the opinion of Salman al-Farsi, a Persian, who became a Muslim, who said, look, if we want to protect the city of Medina and the lives of the Muslims, let us dig a trench around the city of Medina. And the Prophet accepted that advice. It was a strategy that paid off. And that shows how our Prophet was uh, receptive of people's opinions and ideas. Another freedom we want to talk about is freedom of travel. In Islam, human beings are allowed to move freely and pursue their legitimate endeavors. An individual is free to travel at will within his country and outside of it without any impediment. It is a natural right of a human being to be able to depart and return. In fact, it is a requirement of life to be able to do so because it is often necessary to earn a livelihood, find employment, seek knowledge, and achieve many other things. The freedom to move is a quality of all living things. Every human being, every living being, be it bird, be it animal, be it fish, be it insect, they want to move freely. They want to move from where to here. You understand? The freedom is, is to move. It's a necessary part of what it means to be alive. A necessary part of what it means to be alive. Freedom of movement is established by the Quran, the Sunnah, and the consensus of the jurists. In the Quran, Allah says, chapter 67. Allah says, It is He who made the heart submit to you. So, traverse its service and eat of its sustenance, and to Him is your return. No one should be prohibited from movement except for an overriding consideration of the general welfare. When a plague struck in Syria, Umar bin Khattab prohibited travel to Syria. He ordered such a command in order to carry out the instructions of Prophet Muhammad wasalam, during such times. If you hear about a plague in a certain land, then do not go there. And if you are in a land where a plague has struck, then do not leave or try to flee from it. Look at it. It is what we call quarantining today. If you imagine when we had the Ebola crisis about a year or two ago in Nigeria, when those who were suspected to have contracted the Ebola virus were quarantined in specific places so that they do not mingle with the rest of the society. And the rest of the society were told to desist from going to that area. This was borrowed in Islam. It was borrowed in Islam. It was Prophet Wasallam who laid this foundation. And the world today are indebted to the Prophet Wasallam when it comes to preventing the spread of disease or plague in the society. To facilitate the people's freedom of movement, Islam prohibits any transgression being committed against travelers or hindrances being placed in their way. For the same reason, Islam has prescribed an extremely stern punishment for highway robbery. Islam has established or prescribed a very stern punishment against anybody who wants to prevent free movement of people in society, such as committing of highway robbery. You cannot commit highway because when you are committing highway robbery, you spread fear. You spread fear. A man cannot function properly when he is under a state of fear. In order to facilitate use of the roadways, the prophet forbade his companions from sitting down in the middle of the of, of roads. He forbid them from sitting down in the middle of, of road. He said, Iyakun wa turukot, avoid sitting in, on the roadways. The companions ask, Ah, Messenger of Allah, we have no recourse but to sit in these places. He said, if this is the case, then give the road its right. And to Akoha, give it its right, the right of pathways. They said, what are the rights of the, of the, of the road? O Messenger of Allah, Prophet Islam said, lowering the case, 
abstaining from abuse, returning the greeting of peace, enjoying what is right, and forbidding what is wrong. If you must stand on the pathway, lower your gaze. Don't see it as a place for you to feed your eyes, to be looking at what is haram, you know? And it is not be used for abusing one pe people or making gesticulation or uh, making mockery of others. You understand? And when you are greeted, you must return the greetings. You understand? You must return those who have greeted you. Not only that, you are also there to enjoy what is right and forbid what is wrong. You see? That is what you must be doing if you must stand in the pathway or you stand in a place that people frequent. The streets should be used for what they are built for, like traveling and the transportation of materials and goods. Using them for any other purpose is prohibited, especially if it leads to the arming of others. Due to the importance of travel in the life of a Muslim, and due to the fact that unforeseen problems often occur during travel, God has granted the wayfarer a right to a share of the obligatory arms. The travelers have a share in zakat. Because when you travel, you are subject to a lot of inconveniences. And you are also vulnerable. But Islam, in order to alleviate that suffering, Islam says, give the wayfarer a share in zakat. Not only that, the wayfarer can reduce his salat. He can shorten his salat. You can reduce four raka prayers to two, and you can combine. You can do jamu tekdimi au jamu tahiri. You can do early combination, and you can do later combination. This is if the traveler is in dire need of it. And even if this, is, if this person is affluent, in his or her own land. Because when you are traveling, you are highly vulnerable. Because you are in your uh, uncomfortable zone. You are not in your free zone. So, so it is in, as important that we respect this right. And that's why it says, in facade أو تقطع أيديهم وارجلهم من خلاف أو يوفى من الأرض ذلك لهم هزي في الدنيا ولا في العيدة أزاب عظيم Those who wage war against Allah and his prophet and who constitute threat, terror on the, on the road when they are caught because they are spreading fear they can also bring dislocation to the economy because when people cannot move free to transport goods and services it's going to affect the economy it will affect the economy and that's why i say when such people are caught and tried the judgment is they are either killed or they are crucified or their hands and legs are caught in the opposite directions or they are sent into exile Allah says that is only a worldly punishment. In the hereafter, they stand to be punished more severe. I mean, severer. That's to show that freedom of movement is an inale, man's inalienable right. No one should transgress against that right. If you falsely imprison somebody, it is a crime. In Islam, it is a crime to falsely imprison somebody without due cause because you have you have cut short his existence. You have reduced him to a dead human being. So we must learn this fact about Islam. Ono ni ominira lati rin sibi song ti islam jogun fun wa 
eri omi ni ra kale rin si bi sohun yen ohun lo lo ma je ki a le se ise gege bi omo eniyan ohun lo ma je ka le lo lo le aye gege bi omo eniyan eri ngba to mi yan ro bi pe ona wo lo nle fifi a je en to ba koja aye lori elomi won wa da ogba e won sile tori pe kon fi yan se won nigba mi o buru ti pe kon pa yan lo kan mo sallallahu alaihi wasallam o je ka mo pe oju ona ta won eyan ngba elege ni a gbodo ko di awon eyan lati koja tori ta won eyan ba lanfani ati jade nle wa n ton fe je lo ton pada sile igba yen ni won ma le jo mu orilede rere islam n je ka mo wipe ti a ba ma wa ta ba ma wa loju ona a gbodo so iwo oju ona awon sabi e won abilere pe oni kaye ma joko soju ona a le se ka ma joko soju ona ise elomi je mo be elomi ona eniye anobi ni to ba je pe ele se ke ma joko soju ona e fun oju ona ni awon eto won ta ba soro oju ona express road wa nbe public park o wa nbe ibi ti awon eyan tin joko noju o wa nbe anobi ni ke fun awon aye yin ni eto won won wa ni kile eto won anobi ni pe te ba ma joko soju ona e se kini ere oju yin le eye fi wo ku o on to lohun sile ke ma wo e gbodo wo elekeji oni pe eri wi pe e kim e kim bu awon eyan nbe ke ma fi won se yeye ko berin koja ke ma sufe ke ni kon koja ke ma fi se yeye e gbodo se yen nbe leyin na ta won eyan ba ki yen da kiki won pada ton ba ki assalamu alaikum o e da won pada e da ki yen pa pe wa alaikum salam e ma tun wa wa nbe e ma pa se da da ke ma ko wa baje muslimi o le je muslimi ko ri baje ko da ke o n lati ko ton ba nse nkan da da o n lati fenu si pe owo na lowo si ton ba nse nkan ti o da o lowo pe eleyi o da o olohun o fe eleyi la ka yo me yan gan o fe eleyi iyan lo nje pe an fun oju ona ni eto re ta ba de wo esin wa o je ka mo yi pe ti a ba ti ko di awon eyan loju ona a ma ko aigbadun a ma ko inira ba oro aje orilede ta won yo ba le travel won le gbe oja won lo oja won le gbe ise won lo belomi ngba ti ona ti di abi ke iberu iberu bojo o ti gba lukan olohun bo de mulere olohun o mulere o gbe iji anla to tobi kale ni pe eni keni bo yo nse am robbery abon se kidnapping abon ji awon eyan gbe abon fi ti pa gba owo lowo won abi gba moto won abon pa won to wa fo ibaje ka to wa da iberu ta won eyan o le sun ton le wo olohun ni te ba ti mu won te gbe won lo le ejo ti a dajo dajo le won lori idayo ton ma da le won lori ni pe ki won pa won ikonu merin ton ba pa won kan mo gi ton ba kan mo ki won gi apa otun won asese o si won abi ese o owo o si won ati ese otun won abi ki won le won ku o lawujo olohun wa ni to nso yi esin le aye lelei o nbe fun olodo olohun ija eleta ileru ta ba nfe ki omi nira omo niyan lati rin si bi rin sohun ko se ko je imuse an lati lo fi islam o fi olohun won ba ile ka lo 
Olorun ta kun to le mu wa ta ko come ni on receive ni song ki se eto mo niyan ni kan eto gbogbo eda da ba Olorun ni eyi to mi ati ti omi ko ni anfani ati receive ni song Olorun ko ma nu aleto na lu wa o gbogbo awon ti won se baje lori lede Olorun ba pop si won nu ki won de ri pe won won se so fi Olorun bayi tori pe ta ba nsoro fi Olorun elomi le ro yi pe well tin ba nse musulumi eh ti o ba de so fin sheria anta ohun le se to ba won o mo ri bo laye ni o o le mo ri bo olorun olorun ko ma lo ta ba nsoro mi ni ranu islam e je ka ri pe ah ofin ti islam gbe kale ohun lo ju ogun mi ni ra fun wa ta ba de fe ni omi ra na ni pa pa tori pe osibita ti le ri afinu islam o je ka jeru fun oba de dani kan sisho a ni se ru ile aye a ni se ru ojise a ni je ru malaika a ni se ru aljonu a ni se ru eniyan kan a ni se ru eranko a ni se ru igi a ni se ru oke a ma a de ni se ru omi a ma je ru fun kini olorun oba oba de dani kan sisu olorun ma se agbogun mi ra yen fun wa laye nbi olorun wa je ko gbe wa ni alqiyamu aqulu qali hada astaghfirullah li wa lakum assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi هذا القرآن يوحدنا لطريق الخير يوجهنا الله تعالى أنزله ورسول الله معلمنا ورسول الله معلمنا هذا القرآن يوحدنا لطريق الخير يوجهنا الله تعالى أنزله ورسول الله معلمنا ورسول الله معلمنا